Dreams are a very important part of all our lives. We've all had them. We've all experienced them. We've all had joyful dreams, dreams that scared us, nightmares, as some people call them. I've only got one racked up on the remembrance board. Now, the dream starts off in an arctic wasteland, and I'm looking around and it's desolate, I see very little. I look down at my hands and they're in black gloves. I'm thinking, I don't know why I'm wearing black gloves. I look down at the rest of me, I'm in gray and black spandex with a yellow utility belt. And if you haven't figured out who I am in this dream yet, Stop watching this video. Okay, so I'm Batman. Lost confusion, I just wander. I wander and I get over the top of this mountain. And in the far distance is like a castle-y... You would think, you're like, oh, it's Superman's fortress. No, it's not Superman's fortress. Superman, mm, he's gay. He's a gay lord. Superman? Gay. So on my way to get to this uh, this castle, this castle, uh, I, I see a little life form. Turns out they're polar bears. Polar bears. If you don't know what a polar bear is, that's a polar bear. So there's about four. They're 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 not gentle giants. They take their fist and and. Eh, horrible things. So as I get close to one, it sees me, it tells the others, and they all charge. They charge at me, and I'm thinking, I'm screwed. But then I remember, back, if you remember, I'm Batman. So I whip, I whip out all this crap from my utility belt and kill them. Towards, and the crack now is like a 40 foot gorge. I start walking towards it, and I hear behind me. And you know what it is? It's about seven or eight more polar bears coming in on Super Smash Bros. Uh, respawn pilot landings. And you know what, they got the fans? That's what I'm... And the polar bears all drop. I try to punch one in the head. He's flashing like you do in Super Smash Bros. He's invincible for like seven seconds. I'm just running from them, trying to deke. Because uh, they're all invisible for like seven seconds. What am I supposed to do with their invi invincible? Not invisible. Did I say invisible? I grapple in one's eye, and then I spun it into three more and knocked it into the gorge. Now, I get into like this kind of Hercules motif with the Hydra. When you kill the Hydra, and you cut off his head, like three more come, and you're like, oh damn. I kill the seven polar bears, now there's 40 polar bears. I know my math is wrong, but I'm 10 at this point. This dream is happening when I'm 10. So, times three meant nothing to me. More meant something. I, I just dove into the gorge and all these polar bears followed me. And now they're spawning without me killing them. The Hydra, gone. They're coming in at the, at, they're coming in the gorge right after me. They want to get to me. And they're starting to fall and I'm trying to deke at the bottom. There's still like three that have died. The gorge is very deep. I, that's how many polar bears have spawned invincibly. And they're falling, they're falling, they're falling. I'm jumping like that. Get to the top of the gorge, jump out. It's full. But they've landed like in a weird way that they can't crawl out of. They're very lemmixes, lemmixes we'll call them. And as I'm getting towards the castle, more polar bears come on the Super Smash Bros. landings. Uh, they come down, they're invincible, they're fighting me. I'm trying to deke, I'm trying to get away. I've run out of grapple, uh, everything in my belt. So I run, I get to the castle, close the doors. I'm looking around, I don't see anybody in this castle. So I'm like, oh gee, polar bears are gonna bust down the door and they're gonna eat my face. So I go up to a balcony at the top of the castle. At the top of the castle, there's a big Gatling gun at the top. So I'm thinking, hey, if I arm this Gatling gun, I can just mow down endless polar bears and none of them will get in the castle and I'll get out of this dream unscathed. And you're thinking, good idea, good idea. As I reach the, for the grappling gun, there it is, a paw on my shoulder. So I'm like, oh shit, turn. It's a brown paw, there's grizzly bears behind me, and I'm like, whoa, now I'm screwed mega. I got grizzly bears and polar bears ripping my face off. The grizzly bears in the dream, gentle giants. I turn, he says, what the hell are you doing in my castle, bro? I say, 
I've been chased here by endless amounts of polar bears. I trapped 4,000 in a gorge, and uh, there's probably another 4,000 outside on the other side of the gorge marching towards your castle. So, King Grizzly Bear is like, okay, polar bear is my mortal enemy, and as we all know, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So you, sir, are my friend. So I'm thinking, good, I'm allied with a bunch of grizzly bears. Outside the castle to face off against these thousand polar bears because we have to kill the polar bears. If they don't, if I don't kill the polar bears, there's no point in the stream, and why am I telling you? But we kill the, we try to kill the polar bears. Go out with my 400 grizzly bear army, plus Batman, me. Polar bears come, we got a bunch of grizzly bears. Epic battle, epic battle. It's probably real time, two hours of the night. They're all dying and clashing. I saw one guy jump into the air and a polar bear pulled out a gun and shot him. I was like, okay, a little weird. Uh, what happens now, there's there's seven polar bears and me and the king. So I'm like, oh geez, we're probably gonna lose. The guys charge us one at a time because that's how it happens. If they charge you all at once, you lose. One at a time. First one, come, they actually, they all focused on the king at this point. First one comes at the king. He just punched a square in the face, and then I stomped on his head. Next one came at the king. He threw it over his chest, threw it over his whole body, actually. And I gave him a double punch to the head. He was gone. So that leaves five, uh, four, and the lead polar bear. The next two, they came at the same time because there was a technique that required two lackeys. Grab their heads, clonk them together. And I was like, good job. Now there's three? No, two and the lead guy. I just jumped on the first one, and then King Grizzly Bear jumped on the second one. We both took our men down. Now it's just me, King, and lead polar bear, and the 4,000 in the gorge. But they're loafs, they can't get out. So lead polar bear, he goes after King Grizzly Bear, and I, I don't want to get in this. This is, like a, this is like a Luke Darth Vader sort of thing. They're epic proportion battling. They're stabbing each other, they're ripping each other, they're doing everything. The polar bear rips the grizzly bear's head off. So I'm like, oh man, crap. So now his head is gone and a bloody grizzly bear thing falls to the ground. And this one gets a little weird. His head floated for a brief period of time and it looked at me and it said, take my arms and use them in the fight. I, t I ripped, went over it quickly before the polar bear had time to react. I ripped off the grizzly bear's arms and the floating idol head fell. Put them on. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fight him. I start stabbing him, I cutting him, and I'm more agile than the bear because I'm Batman. And he's trying to get me. He's just slow. I'm cutting him up, cutting him up. I cut off his left arm, then his left leg. He falls to the ground. He stares at me, opens his mouth. Hey, Joe. And so, uh, where was I? Jewelers Jackson. Um, okay, he's lying down, looking at me. He's got his he's got his mouth open. He's screaming at me. He's screaming at me because he's pissed, and he wants me to die because he can't believe that he's lost. So I walk up to him with my big grizzly bear arms. I grab the lead grizzly bear's head and I shove it down his throat. Dead. Hell, the grizzly bears. The female grizzly bears are behind me now. The female grizzly bears are like, Hey man, what'd you do with all our husbands, brothers, sons, etc? And I'm like, oh, they just fought a giant polar bear army and I'm the only survivor. And they're like, oh. So they gave me an atom bomb. And I'm like, oh, atom bomb. Strange gift. Uh, I don't think I should be any gift. I just killed your race because all of you are female and... Never mind. So... <laughs> I don't know if you've guessed what I do with the atom bomb yet. I'm gonna let you wait it. Think about it. Yeah. You got it? I take it to the gorge! I drop the atom bomb in the gorge, kill all the polar bears, and in the process, kill myself. And the dream is over. Well, I have a. I do have one more, but it's. This is not as exciting. Maybe I'll cover it later. It involves um, a gold suit, a dragon, a school teacher, and the ability to fly. <laughs>